Welcome to the Self Love Experience Podcast. I am your girl, Mrs. Shire Nicole. And if you're interested in being on the Self Love Experience Podcast as a guest, or interested in joining the Self Love Experience Tribe with a group of glow givers that's growing and glowing together and giving back, you can go to my website at www.shirenicolesmith.com or DM me on Instagram at Mrs. Shire Nicole. Okay, so let's get to today's episode. So today's episode is another peek inside my self-love routine. It is a book that I feel was necessary for me to devour. So today's book recommendation is The Decision. Yes, that's right. You heard me. (laughs) It's a decision. Y'all need to read it because it's coming out. (laughs) <laughs> the decision is by Kevin Hart. I don't know if that was a good Kevin Hart impersonation or not. <laughs> but yes, Kevin Hart, the comedian. Yeah, that's him. Yes. He write books? Yes, he writes books. Or you know what? I don't know if he write books. He deliver books because this is an audio book. I think it's only an audio version, but... Let me tell you, the way that he reads and delivers this book, you would want the audio version. Trust me, you wouldn't want to just read it. I mean, oh my goodness. Um, It is full Kevin Hart personality, full Kevin Hart tonality, full Kevin Hart, like, what is this, a stand-up comedy routine? It is so funny, so hilarious. But at its very core, he is teaching you tools for success. So this is tools that he used to not only become successful, but things that he has learned to help him maintain his success and maintain the right mindset and maintain. And some of you may be thinking, well, Shira, you know, did you hear about Kevin Hart, blah, blah, blah. And did you hear about Kevin Hart, blah, blah, blah. Hey. In his book, he does not say he's perfect. And I haven't met a person yet that can say they perfect because I know I'm not perfect. And if you're human and you're breathing right now, you're not perfect. But he didn't have to, but he's sharing some really, really great things that can help you be a better version of yourself. And then once you achieve whatever your current goals are to help you to keep it to stay there and to learn more so you can challenge yourself and to go higher instead of becoming stagnant or losing it like some young person who wins the lottery but never can match the vibration and the frequency of someone who is a lottery winner or someone who has that type of wealth And before you know it, it's gone. So it is called The Decision. It is about Kevin Hart. Now, he has his book set up in parts. Part one is the F yes moment. F yes, like F, like F, yes, yes. That's what it is, the F yes moment. And a little disclaimer, There's a lot of cursing in this book. There's a lot of cursing in this book and it does not bother me at all. I feel like if someone is going to share what's worked for them, then as the listener, I need to allow them to be their full authentic self. Kevin Hart's full authentic self is going to be with some swearing. To me, it was necessary. It helped to drive home what it was he was trying to say. So whatever he's trying to say, he's trying to drive it home. So he may use a curse word or two or 18 and he's going to fill it <laughs> and say it <laughs> with a lot of power. And it was okay with me. That's quite fine. Part two, he says, know before you go, what to leave at home before entering the program. What program? Oh, Oh, I'm sorry. So basically the decision is set up like a boot camp. So if you're listening to it, then you are part of Kevin Hart's boot camp and he's putting you through some basic training. (laughs) 
Yeah, he's putting you through basic training. He sets the stage for his book. Put you through some basic training so you can come out a graduate of Kevin Hart's success boot camp. I would like to say that I am a graduate of this said boot camp. And truth be told, I can see myself going through the course again because it's that good. What to leave at home before entering the program? Jealousy, perfectionism, comparison, unhealthy fear, fear of failure, resistance, self-doubt, anger, blame, judgment of others, self-judgment. Every last one of those categories is like, whoa, like that's important to talk about and to address because all of them are low vibration frequencies. If you're on a frequency of jealousy or you're on a frequency of unhealthy fear, that's low vibration. And one of the things that I'm doing on my self-love journey is doing my best to stay on a high, and if I'm not high, at least a healthy emotional frequency. If you don't know what I mean by an emotional frequency, I'm talking about the Hawkins uh, scale of emotional frequencies. And I know that there's other people on YouTube that have done videos about it. I know I plan to do a video about it because my emotional frequency and all of our emotional frequency, our vibration that we're on, you know, if you want to attract something in your life, most of us, what are we trying to do? We're trying to attract things that we want. We're trying to attract things that we feel is going to make us happy. We're trying to attract things that we feel that is positive. So it's very hard to stay in a slump, but constantly feel like you're attracting these really, really great things. No, you're going to have to raise your vibration to do that. So I feel that it's very important that he talks about leaving those things at home. Like don't even bring any of this stuff here. Self-doubt, all of those things that just prolong the accomplishment and the achievement of our dreams, that prolong um, our happiness. And I also want you to know too, that when I talk about dreams, I'm not trying to say that everybody needs to have like a dream um, to be an entertainer or dream to be a doctor or some big, huge dream. Your dream could be, I want to be the best mom possible. And I want to love my kids and I want to create a very loving and nurturing environment for them. And I want to be there for them. I want to be able to have the energy to cook for them and to help them with their homework. And I want to be able to have the finances to be able to take them on vacation and expose them to um, all the different things that's out there in, in, in life that has to offer. And that's my definition of success. You know, it, it, it can be anything. Success is what it looks like to you, is <laughs> what's going to make you, you feel good, is what you're striving for and what you accomplish. Part three is when he takes us through the orientation of his boot camp and he starts talking about like our weapons. So we're in this boot camp, okay? We're in this boot camp. So what are the weapons that we're bringing to this boot camp? So he now lists those, uh, positive mindset. What is this? Now, some of these things you're going to have to just check out the book to see because Kevin is going to give his own terminology. He like makes up words, do all this type of stuff. He's going to give his own spin on it. So some of the stuff, I'm not going to have time to go in depth, but if you want to find out, get the book, get the audio book. Consistency, reliability, determination, cowboying up. Cowboy the fuck up. Ah, cowboy the fuck up. Cowboy up. Cowboy up. If you don't understand <laughs> that, it's probably because he made it up. So you're going to have to listen to the book to really get the full understanding what he means by cowboying up or teddy bearing, dissatisfaction, non reactivity, self generating power. Oh my gosh, just saying the term self-generating power, to me, self-generating power it belongs in the self-love category. It belongs on my self-love journey. Self-generating power, like 
I love myself and I'm aware, I'm, I'm aware of who I am. I'm aware of my strengths. I'm aware of my weaknesses. I'm aware that I made mistakes. I'm aware that I'm not perfect, but I'm aware that I can generate this power that I can help stir it up and start it up. So important. Love that. Uh, sponginess, relatability, eye on the prizeness. Yes, prizeness. Prizeness. You're going to find out what prizeness. Keep your eyes on the prizeness. <laughs> Put up withness and humility. Such a great section. There wasn't a part of this book that got boring or the part of this book where I just got tired of listening to Kevin. You know how sometimes there's parts where all of a sudden you're listening to a book and the person is just kind of, I don't know, you're on autopilot. Like you hear them, but you don't hear them. You're not listening to them because you already got accustomed to their voice. Not here, not with Kevin Hart's The Decision. It is phenomenal. Again, if you are familiar with Kevin Hart, if you respect anything that he has done, got to respect his accomplishments and his achievement and his honesty if you've ever laughed at any of his jokes i mean you need to get this book it is so funny it is like motivational inspirational stand up comedy special boot camp class the next part is when you actually get to the training program okay so he's like hey this is your mental fitness mental fitness you got mentally strong and to me self-love self-care mindset mindfulness mental fitness mental hygiene all these things to me go together with success and with fulfillment and joy and being whole and being complete it's it just it's just important. So your training program, he's going to talk about fuel, energy, input, company, the environment, solitude, work, practices. And then he gets into some of the things that I do and I practice. I try to practice every day, but sometimes I don't get to it. But visualization, energy assessment, Oh my God, force field. Oh my goodness. Then he's going to give you an ultimate 30 day challenge and he calls it the final exam. I really feel like the decision is a boot camp type, you know, mental success building school where you are able to have Kevin Hart as your teacher, as your teacher, as your coach, as your motivator as your professor, however you want to look at it. You want to get the decision. It is on Audible. I think that he just speaks his book, so there's not a written form of it. But again, you're going to want to listen to him actually give it. If you're uh, interested, um, Audible is one of the um, sponsors or like a partnership. I am part of... Um, you know, I'm a, you know, part of the Amazon influencers program. And so I promote a lot of stuff dealing with Amazon, but my favorite is Audible because I use Audible. I get, I'm on a program where I get a new credit every month. I can exchange my older books if I don't want to keep them anymore. Plus I get the new credit. I can share them with my husband. It's just so much that I'm able to do. So if you are interested in listening to The Decision by Kevin Hart, or any of the other books that I have recommended, click on my link, you can do a 14 day free trial. You do not have to keep it if you don't wanna keep it. But for 14 days, you definitely can get through with this. I mean, I, I do my power walks in the morning. I'm listening to Kevin. I'm driving my son to school. My son is 13 years old. And yes, I did let him listen to this book. But, but Shira, there's, there's profanity in this book. I know, but the message, 
is way more important. And by it coming from Kevin Hart, and he's realizing that, wow, Kevin Hart is saying the exact same stuff that my mom says. Because see, mom may not be cool, but Kevin Hart, to my 13-year-old son, is really cool. <laughs> he's the coolest, like, oh my God. So for him to hear it from Kevin's mouth, and it's the exact same stuff that I'm telling him, go. I can allow the person because he's hearing the cursing on YouTube anyway. He's hearing the cursing at school. So at least this is cursing with a purpose. Kevin, Kevin, you curse with a purpose. Your profanity has a purpose to it. It's, you should call it pers purpose. You should call it purposeful profanity. Try saying that 12 times. Purposeful profanity. Yes. Some of you be like, but why are you on here? You're a girl. And why are you on here? Like promoting Kevin Hart. What I heard. <laughs> Um, he kind of exposes that too. He shares things, he shares, oh, you may have heard this and that wasn't true. You may have heard this and this is true. And I did mess up and this is how I messed up. And this is what I learned from my mistake. Perhaps maybe instead of judging people, may help to hear their story. May help to become exposed to what it is that they know all of this stuff here as we get a grasp on who we are and on our experience you know as trying to you know become the best version of us that we can be there's so much that we can do to help others i know that so many people who subscribe to the self-love experience podcasts and reach out to me you have dreams, you have things that you want to do, you have things that you want to experience. For some of you, it's starting your own business. For many of you, it's writing your own book. For others, it's traveling the world, it's being a speaker, gardening, <laughs> whatever it is. There's so much negative talk and negative thoughts that we could experience that we could be exposed to even if you don't think that you have it you know you can see something on tv you can hear something while you're at the supermarket you can see something on a magazine cover you can have some friends that may say something that's just not helpful or family that can say something that's just not helpful so you want to make sure that you are feeding your soul you want to make sure that you are repeatedly exposing yourself to the things that is going to keep your mental hygiene in check. Audio books, actually ordering physical books, prayer, meditation, visualization, scripting, journaling, going for a walk, taking a bike ride. I mean, it's, there's so much that you can do. For some people, you all know how to play instruments. For some people, I mean, you're you're doing hair, and that's and that's just your your thing. Where you lose track of time, you lose track of space, you lose track of who you are because you're so involved. Oh, for a lot of males, uh, working out or some sport. When we do those things, we become fully involved in the present moment, fully involved in the now. And I'm telling you, no matter what you may have going on, no matter what may be troubling you, no matter what may be keeping you up at night, if you just spend time in the now and just focus on the present moment, and maybe just take a deep breath. Feel some gratitude. Be satisfied with where you are, even though you have goals and intentions for more. Just look around and be thankful for what it is that you have. It's, it's nothing like it, nothing like it. 
I don't know what caused me to, to do that, but when I'm flowing, I just go with it. Um, because this podcast isn't about me. This podcast isn't even mine. Um, it is a ministry. It is a way for me to give back. It's about you having a place where you can connect with like-minded people that's going to be, uh, feed you, um, that's going to be a support system, that is going to help your mental fitness, that mental hygiene, that's going to feed your mind in that repetition of going into your mind that you need that's just going to make everything okay. That's going to give you the confidence to keep going. That's going to give you the faith to keep going. That's going to give you the reassurance to keep going. That's going to give you the support to keep going. Keep going. Take care of yourself. Love yourself and keep going and pay attention to the little blessings along your journey. If this podcast episode blessed you, then this is one of the blessings along your journey. Did you go to the supermarket and have a conversation with someone out the blue and it was a nice exchange? That's a blessing. Did you have a uh, a cupcake that just had a burst of flavor, <laughs> a burst of flavor that just, I don't know, just made you, <laughs> made you get your life right because it's, because <laughs> it tastes so good. This burst of flavor that just made everything in the world right. And that's a blessing. That's a satisfying moment. I go outside and I live in an area now where there's mountains everywhere, mountains and beautiful palm trees and oh, flowers with such a, a burst of fragrance. And every day now, I'm just taking a picture of the mountains and of the trees because I'm in love with it. I'm in love with each and every moment. And that is what the self-love experience is all about. Loving every moment, loving every experience, loving every step. And when bad times come, when things don't go our way, when we don't get what we want, when we want to, to know that it's just part of the journey and to be okay anyway. It's just part of the journey. It's just part of the experience. So if you enjoyed this episode of the Self Love Experience Podcast, I would love for you to let me know in the comments or just say hi in the comments. Oh, I want to give you a call to action. Uh, let me know about your own self-love journey. Let me know about your mental hygiene. Yes, that's my question. My question is, what are you doing to take care of your mental hygiene? What is that process for you? And what are you doing? How are you taking time out your day? to dedicate to your mental hygiene, to dedicate to your own mindset, to dedicate to your own spiritual growth. What is it that you're doing? And if you're not doing anything yet, what is it that you want to do? Do you need some help? Do you need an accountability partner? Do you need a self-love buddy, a self-love BFF? Let me know what you're doing or what you need in the comments. This community is here for you. 
I'm Sharon Nicole, and I hope that this episode has been a nice big dose of spiritual food to your soul. Until next time, love thyself. Bye.